Hello and welcome once again to Akusei's blog. If you are new here, kindly subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell when you're done. Today we are preparing garden necks or eggplant stew with cocoa yams and plantain. Do you know you can prepare stew without frying? This is our traditional way of preparing our stew and it's very healthy and delicious as well. Come with me as I take you through the process. So these are the ingredients we are using today for our delicious traditional garden next to you. I will list them in the description box below so kindly check it out too. So we begin with the preparation of our MPC and when I say MPC in our local dialect it means any meal of either boiled yam, plantain, cocoa yam, cassava or a mix of any two served with stew or gravy so i'm peeling the skin of the cocoa yam off we have two types of cocoa yam we have the red or the pink and then the white type if you have the white type feel free to use it as it's also okay but then today i am using the pink skin cocoa yam if you are cutting and you see any black stuff or any um black Portion. it's not spoiled you just take it out and then you continue with your process when you are done you scrape the skin off like I'm doing this is optional but then I want it very soft in tree we will say you do it this way so you cut it into smaller sizes and then you continue with the process now I'm cutting it into smaller sizes because with cocoa yam it's a bit harder than a uh, yam so it's better you do it this way. You continue with the process till you are able to take all the skin of your cocoa yam off. Now do you know that we get our contumely from this very root or tuber? I bet you didn't know. So when you are in short of blood, our contumely is very good for boosting our blood levels too. So kindly eat it if you have it in abundance. So when I'm done cutting and peeling off the skin of the cocoa yam, I'll place it in a bowl with water and then wash it off. Now we are going to wash our cocoa yam till the water is clean and I would advise to wash it at least two or three times to make sure that it doesn't contain any dirt or soil. So I'll rinse it one more time and add another clean water to rinse it before adding it to my saucepan to bring it to a bowl. Now we are going to cook this on medium heat and then I will add my salt to taste. Now I'm going to drop my washed eggs into this. You can cook the eggs separately, but I prefer to add it to this one and then cook it. This way it saves my gas or electricity or whatever I'm cooking with. After I'm going to cover it and allow it to boil. On the other hand, I'm starting to peel my plantains too. So I'll take the green part off. Now, another option is that you can cook your plantains directly with a shell or the cover on. You only wash the outer part with any sponge and then you cut it into the sizes that you prefer. But then I prefer to do my ampicy or my plantains this way. So I'm going to scrape the outer skin off and then cut it into the sizes I prefer. There are two types. You can divide it into halves like I'm doing now and then you cut it into quarters or you can just peel it and then cut it into any shape that you prefer like I'm doing with a second plantain. All this while our cocoa yam is also boiling so I hurry and then add my plantains to it. Look at how beautiful it's boiling. And then I'm dropping in my plantains to allow that one to also cook. When I'm done, I'm going to cover it with any rubber 
and then cover it with my leg to continue the process. The rubber is optional, but then traditionally we use it to retain the heat. Cover it when you are done to allow it to cook till it's soft. Now when I'm done, I'm cooking my garden eggs and my pepper too. Now another trick with those who do not have access to direct fire when cooking, you wrap your cocoa or your momoni in this foil paper and then you put it in your oven to bake at 180 degrees Celsius for 15 to 20 minutes. After about 15 minutes our plantain is cooked or soft so I'll take it out and place it into a cold water or any water at room temperature and allow it to continue cooling. Now we put it back into cold water because we want to have some crunchiness. I don't know how to explain that in English but then in Chi we say Yepese Sun Sun. So if you know the English word for that, kindly tell me in the comment section. So cover it and allow it to continue cooking whilst adding a little bit of salt to this one. To check on our garden next is cooked so I'm starting with grinding the pepper and some onions. Now when I'm done, I will put the garden next in and continue grinding. I'm using roasted peanuts here. You can also use peanut butter if that's what you have and then continue with your grinding process. With a roasted one, you need a bit of energy or a bit of muscles to grind it. And then you add water to make it easier to grind the peanut. So you continue grinding until it's very smooth before moving on to the next section. Now place some tomato into the oven and allow it to bake for at least 2 to 3 minutes before taking it out with my cocoa momone. Now our cocoa yams are ready so I'll take my eggs out and then strain the water from it. And also take our cocoa out of the oven. Now look at how it turned out to be so I'll add it to my stew and then continue grinding it together this stew has no formula so do it or add any of the ingredients at any time that you feel is okay so i roasted my herrings and then added my tomato that i baked in and then grinded everything together don't forget to add water to the stew that way when you leave it for some time it will not kick now in another saucepan, I'm also going to fry or heat my palm oil and then chop some onions into it to give it some aroma. Now when the onions are almost golden brown, I'll take it out of the fire and pour it directly onto my grinded stew. Is this not healthy to make? This does not contain any artificial additives, neither does it have any preservatives. We are eating this in its natural taste and it's so healthy to eat. Thank you lovely people for watching my channel. Don't forget to leave your comments, share and subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.